So I've known this for absolutely ages that copper has very strong antibacterial properties. It's why they cover a lot of surfaces in copper, because it basically kills the bugs. But I didn't know the next bit. A friend of mine wrote to me saying that copper apparently has very strong antiviral properties. So quite astounded by that, I had a look at some of the research for a while, and sure enough, copper is antiviral. Now, he was thinking about coating a face mask by electroplating copper onto the face mask. And that's a good idea, but it's also an awful lot of trouble to go to. And then um, it struck me that I've just made a video on how to make copper particles and inks using a mechanochemical synthesis. That is, you just stick it in a grinder. I've just done a video on how to do that, so I've got some of this stuff, this nice blue material. So if you want to know how to make this, just look at that video. It's a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to make this. Now, I was going to do other things with this, and I still am going to do those other things with this, but I really liked his idea. Uh, and I thought, well, hey, I'll give that a go, and we'll see if we can make a copper-coated face mask with antiviral properties to combat coronavirus. Now, I'm not saying it will combat coronavirus. I'm saying it's worth a try. So I've got a face mask, and everybody here actually is, is in self-isolation at the moment. I'm actually the only person here as everybody else is off in self-isolation. Um, so I thought I'd give that a go of coating that. Now this material, all you have to do is spoon some of that lovely blue stuff into a jar, add some water, and the copper particles will separate out. You see, it goes from blue to this nice salmon pink colour as soon as you add the water. That salmon pink is the copper. We'll see that in a minute when it all settles to the bottom. So add some water, give it a stir to dissolve all the blue and what you'll be left with are copper particles. And all we have to do with those copper particles is once we've done that is just let them sink to the bottom and they'll sink relatively quickly. So I'm going to leave that to sink. When it comes back, we'll carry on. Okay, we've waited for that to settle. Now, while I was waiting for that to settle, uh, and my friend sent me an article where it specifically says that copper and copper allies on surfaces will kill coronavirus. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I'll put the link to that article in the description if you want to have a read. But there we go. Our copper is this salmon pink layer at the bottom that we were looking for. And all you do is pour that blue layer off, which is a copper salt, it's actually copper format, so I'll save it for later. And there is our copper layer. Now we can wash that really easily, actually, just by adding some water and letting it settle again. So add some water, give it a swirl around, and you'll see it's gone from um, that blue to this lovely salmon pink. Give it a swirl around, let it settle, pour it off, and do that until the water is clear. Now, we're not going to do that. We're going to use this straight, but that's only for demonstration purposes. But once it's like that and in suspension, you can paint it on your mask. And what you're painting on your mask are copper particles. And now we just leave that to dry. Now, I thought that was quite amazing, actually, because we can get those copper particles onto that face mask with the painting method by extracting the small particles from this solution, which is really easy to do. Just add water, decant off. And you're left with pure copper at the bottom there. Now, what I'm going to do is paint a fairly thick layer on, give it a rub, and give you a close-up. So there is the mask. Now, if you see that bit there, there we go. I've just rubbed that with the back of a spoon so that you can see once you flatten those particles, it is genuine metallic copper that we've put on there. So I painted four coats on that to create that copper-coated antiviral mask.
Of course, you can paint this on your basic cheap face mask, uh, like I did, or you could paint it on the inserts of the face mask. Uh, this is actually quite an impressive face mask because we're obviously at Chem's lab. Uh, and these are little inserts that you put in that clips open, you could paint those. Or um, if you can't get hold of a face mask, then you could just paint a piece of cloth with it and use the cloth as a face mask. So there we go, a, copy co a copper coated antiviral mask, really easy to make. All we did really was paint four layers of this on it and there's still a lot left in there. So that tablespoon is probably enough to do about four masks or so, something like that. And it creates a um, copper particle covering on the mask that is metallic copper. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you, particularly at this time, because I thought it was of great interest uh, and gives a, an awesome use for um, this material that we made. And as I say, if you want to know how to make this material, just watch the video on mechanochemical synthesis of copper inks and particles. Anyway, I hope it was of interest and thank you very much for watching.